Hey guys, it's Margaret from Days Well Spent, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to pickle peppers. I'm going to be using jalapenos, but you can use any type of peppers you want and follow the directions the same way. You're going to need three pounds of whatever peppers you choose, three cloves of garlic crushed, and then you're going to need a white vinegar that is a 5% acidity. And then you're also going to need about five cups of water. Okay, now for the tools that you're going to need, you're going to need a knife, cutting board, you're going to need four pint-sized jars, and you're going to need your water bath canning supplies. That includes the canner or the automatic home canning system by ball. You're also going to need a couple of glass bowls and a non-reactive pan. That's going to be something like granite ware or a stainless steel pan. You want to make sure that you avoid anything such as aluminum bowls or aluminum pans, and the same thing for whatever you're mixing with. Make sure that it's plastic or wooden, not aluminum. So I've got my three pounds of peppers. They've been washed. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put my gloves on. I'm going to cut off the tops and I'm going to remove some of the seeds. Moving the seeds is going to take away some of the heat. If you prefer your stuff really spicy, then go ahead and leave the seeds in. Go ahead, cut off the top. Okay, now I'm going to show you a trick for getting the seeds in the membrane out quickly and easily. There is a tool that you can buy for it, but if you have a potato pillar, you don't need to. So you're going to take your potato pillar. You're just going to go around the pepper, like so. Then go in a little bit deeper now that you've got room. And now the seeds and the membrane have been removed from the pepper. And go ahead and do that to all of your peppers, and then we're going to get them sliced. Before you start slicing up your peppers to save time, go ahead and start heating up your jars. Let's go ahead and get our jars preheating. So for using the Fresh Tech canning system that like I'm using, you're going to fill it up to the water fill line. That water fill line is right at eight cups of water. We're going to place the rack that comes with it down inside. We want to place our four canning jars inside. They're going to float just a little bit. That's fine. Now, once you've got the water in there, we can go ahead and close it and slide it over to the lock position. Go ahead and we'll hit preheat and start. Okay, now that we've got this heating up, let's go ahead and go back, slice up those peppers, and then begin making our pickling water. If you have a food processor that has a thick enough blade, then go ahead and use that. Or you can pack these whole if you prefer whole pickled peppers. That's what I do when I'm doing the banana peppers. So my husband likes his jalapeno slices a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to go ahead and slice these up real quick using the knife. Go ahead and start getting our pickling liquid ready. Got my burner set on medium high heat. Again, I'm using a non-reactive pan. I've got one and two thirds cups of water, five cups of distilled vinegar, again, 5% acidity, and then we're going to put in three cloves of crushed garlic. Everything in there, I'm just going to give it a little bit of stir to make sure everything's mixed up. We're going to let it come to a boil. And we're going to let it gently boil for five minutes, but we don't want to let this boil down. We're going to need all of this liquid. Go ahead and turn the burner off. It's been at a slow boil for about five minutes. Now we want to strain off the garlic. It's time to pack our jars. What we're going to do is go ahead and open. You can see the preheat has turned off. And we're only going to take one jar out at a time. Make sure that you use a jar lifter. And this would be the same process if you were using a regular water bath can or pot. We're going to shut this, but we're not going to lock it. I've got my funnel on here because it has my markings for my headspace. For peppers, we want about a half an inch of headspace. And you measure headspace from where the liquid is to the measurement that you need. For this, that's going to be a half an inch. And if you're new to canning, this is an inch and this is a half inch. Go ahead and pour in that pickling liquid. And we want to remove the funnel. 
We want to get rid of any air that might be in there. You can see a few little bubbles came up. That's what we want. We want to get rid of those. Okay. And if it's over, then you want to take some out. But once you've got the correct head space, you want to take a clean towel and you want to wipe the rim of the jar. That's going to ensure that there's nothing there that might get in the way of the seal. Now we're going to take our new lid, place it on top of the jar. You always want to make sure you use a new lid. You can always reuse your rings and screw it down. You don't want to over tighten it, but you do want it to be secure. Go ahead and place this in the canner, take out the next jar, and continue the process until all the jars are filled. I'm going to go ahead and get the last jar put in. I'm going to shut it and lock it into place. Now, if you're using a water bath canner, you're going to go ahead and process it based on the directions that I have in the blog post. Using the Fresh Tech Home Canning System by Ball, you're going to press pickles, one, and then start. That's it. In 30 minutes, you're going to have fresh, delicious pickled peppers. Okay, so the timer went off. We're going to go ahead and open the canner. I'm going to unlock it. Lift the lid back carefully. You want to make sure that you use jar lifters. We're going to take the jars out one at a time and place them upright on some kitchen towels. You want to make sure that you're placing them someplace where they won't be disturbed for about 12 to 24 hours. You'll probably notice that your peppers are floating. That's normal. At this point you can go ahead if you have more peppers and liquid left over, go ahead and start your next batch. The recipe that I shared will make eight of these jars. So I'm going to go ahead and start making my next batch. Okay, now while these jars are cooling, you want to make sure that you don't mess with the lid or push in on the top because that's going to give you a false seal. Once the 20, 12 to 24 hours has passed, then we'll come back and I'll show you how to check to make sure that your jar has sealed. I don't know if you guys heard that little ping sound, but that little ping is usually this lid pulling down onto the jar and sealing. But you don't want to count on that as knowing for sure that it's sealed. You want to check it after the 12 to 24 hours has passed. Okay, so it's been 24 hours. It's time to go ahead and give the jars a check. And you can check them sooner. You just want to make sure that they're completely cool and give it at least 12 hours. So we're going to take off the ring. Now, a lot of people will just push in on the center. And if it doesn't flex, then they'll consider it sealed. But what you want to do is take your finger, go around the slip, and just kind of push on it a little bit. You don't have to try to pry it up, but it should not come up easily. That's how you know your jar is sealed. You can store your pickled peppers for about 18 months in a cool, dry, dark location. If you have any questions about pickling peppers, let me know in the comments section and I'll be happy to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and be sure to visit dayswellspent.com.